That revival come, come, hey. come. Revival come, come, come. In iniquity, there is no way you will not see the implication of that transaction and the judgment that came through those violations manifest in your life. We know that in Christ Jesus there is an escape route, but we cannot undermine the potency and the potential of inheritance in spiritual matters. So there are some on this field that are implicated spiritually because there is negative inheritance liabilities that have been positioned against your life. And in such circumstances, we need to tell you how that you can superimpose your heritage in Christ Jesus and enforce it so that it can swallow up other possible liabilities that may have transferred to you on the basis of inheritance. Finally, I need to say that someone that is in Christ Jesus cannot be possessed because your spirit is a one bedroom flat. Only one spirit can possess your spirit. But someone that is born again can be demonized. Because beyond your spirit, there are still faculties that sustain chambers that demons can take advantage of. Like your soul is a vast island that demons can possess. When you find people operating under confusion, if you find people operating with a lying spirit, it means that there are aspects of their life that are under the control of demons. Even Christians can be controlled that way. There are several people whose sexual capacity are not natural. They are aided by demons. So there are demons in those faculties regulating the use of some of those organs. Remember the madman of Gadara when Jesus came to him and said, What is your name? The man said, My name is Legion. And he told us why. Because we are many. So there were many spirits that possessed him. But there was only one spirit that was answering Jesus. The spirit that was answering Jesus is the head of the demonic gang. And that spirit is the one that possesses the one bedroom flat of his spirit. That one has authority, much more authority in the life of that madman than the rest. In fact, the rest were brought in to help secure the space that that one spirit has secured in his spirit. The spiritual world is real and there are many men that you see at the bus stop that are held by powerful demons of darkness demons held sway until jesus showed up the ministry of deliverance was pioneered by jesus himself And tonight, if you give the Lord a chance, He will heal you. I didn't hear your amen. I said tonight, if you give Jesus a chance, He will heal you. Hallelujah. Three steps to freedom. One is to acknowledge your sin. There are many things you can do in hiding, not deliverance. If what you need is deliverance, then there must be an acknowledgement of the sin. That is the premise upon which Satan has the advantage over your life. Number two, be desperate. Any man that is not desperate against demonic attacks, demonic influences will never be free. Number three is repentance. 
Then number four, I will do with you. Number one is what? Number two is what? Number three is what? If you are here tonight, and there is a sin in your life, you have tried to stop it by an act of your will you could not it's still there it might be pornography it might be fornication it might be adultery but you know there is a sin you want to be free but you cannot and the reason why you cannot is because your will doesn't sustain sufficient authority to change your life because the spirit is involved if you are not ashamed rise up from where you are sitting come you'll be free remember you need to be open you need to be open if you are not open there is no chance for your liberty you are in a sin it may be immorality it may be that you have a lying spirit you seek deliverance from Jesus. You have to be open. The Bible says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall find mercy. If you are already at the front, begin to ask God for mercy right now. Ask Him for mercy. It's a night of deliverance. It's a night of deliverance. I know you sing in the choir in your church. But you have not been able to leave fornication. Sometimes you leave it for two weeks. And then you go back again for another three weeks. Because your will is weak. It means you are a slave. But Jesus can set you free. Just cry to him. Don't look at the preacher. The preacher can't do much. Look to him and ask him for mercy. Mercy. Mercy 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 i'm still waiting for you in the congregation that sin has kept you on one spot your mates are married but you are a sex object he can set you free he can set you free he can set you i'm waiting for you i'm waiting for you i'm waiting for you if you are if you are sincere jesus will do his work in your life ask him for mercy say lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy did you commit an abortion some time ago or you gave money for someone to have bought for you and anytime you want to become serious with god the spirit of god will bring to your remembrance that sin can you rise up join them and ask god for mercy ask god for mercy. you went to consult the devil even though you are a christian even though you are born again you went to consult the devil you sought the devil's help and unknown to you you made satan your god Come out and join them and ask him for mercy. You made Satan your God. Join them. Join them. You gave money to a native doctor so that he will see for you. That revival come, come. Hey! Come. Revival come, come, come. Revival come.